Good morning students. Hope all going well. Yes. I hope everything is fine and you are doing your work well. Okay. Today we will do future tense which we did yesterday. We started yesterday. Today we will do part 2. Part 2 as in I will today I will cover the next form of future tense. Today I shall be covering future continuous tense. Yesterday we did simple future tense. Yesterday we had learnt about uh, what a future tense is. Yes, it expresses an action that is to take place, to take in the future. Then we learnt about the four forms, four forms, simple future, simple uh, future continuous, future perfect and future perfect continuous. We learnt that yesterday. I hope it is clear. If not, then let me know. Okay. Then we also learnt the simple future tense. Yesterday I covered one form of the future tense, that is a simple form. I had also given you the formation, how the simple future tense is formed, assertive, negative, interrogative, negative interrogative, yes. So, I will be sending you a picture of this uh, recap, so please have a look at it, okay. It helps you to relate the last class with today's class, it will help you, okay. Today, we will be doing future continuous tense, which is coming up in the next video and I have given some very very little uh, very little homework. So, please do that homework in the book itself. If you have not yet bought your book then you please buy the book. It is very important to have the book especially of English too because we are doing most of the tasks in the book itself. So, please buy the book and I hope you have written yesterday's um, objectives in the copy. Okay. So, please do that and do today's homework as well. So, that is coming up. So, all the best. Try to understand. Any doubts, message me or call me. Okay. Again, good morning. Class 8, B and C. Today, we will do the future tense, part 2. Part 1, we have done yesterday. Today, part 2, 22nd, 5.20, the date. A quick recap of what we did in the last class. This is a recap. What is the future tense? The future tense is used to express an action that is to take place in the future. Anything that takes place in the future is your future tense. Two most important words here are will and shall. And besides this, we also have other words which you will come to know later. We have done the four forms, simple future tense, future continuous tense, future perfect tense and future perfect continuous tense. The four forms are these. Yes, yesterday we had done the simple future tense. Formation of simple future tense is subject plus shall will plus first form. I hope you remember that. Subject plus shall will plus not plus first form. So, this is assertive. Remember, I hope you do. This is negative because of the word not. This is interrogative because of the verb because of because it begins with shall and will and the last one shall and will plus subject plus not this is negative interrogative negative interrogative it ends with a question mark ends with a question mark negative interrogative because it is not and beginning with shall and will so we had done this part yesterday yes we will continue today with the future continuous tense future continuous tense what is this? To express an action that will be in progress, that will be in progress. In progress means will be going on, will be going on, not now, but will be going on at a given time in the future. It will be going on in the future. That is your future continuous tense. Continuous tense means adding ing to your verb with will and shall, will or shall rather. Next is formation. Now, how is this future continuous tense formed? The formation subject plus shall or will plus b, we add b here plus first form plus ing. This is again assertive, means a yes sentence. Yes. Next is subject plus shall will plus not plus b plus first form plus ing. This is your negative. Negative shall will plus subject plus b plus first form plus ing this is your interrogative and the last one shall will plus subject plus b plus first form this is your negative interrogative 
Okay, so now you know the formations, how the future continuous tense is formed. There are different forms and these are the forms. I have done this in the last class also. This is a quick revision of what we have done in the last class. Okay, now I will give you some examples of these formations. Okay, first one subject plus shell will plus be plus first form. So, let us do the first form. Let us take the first form. Subject, let us say Rahul. Then shell or will. Which one will we take? Shell or will? We will take will because Rahul is third person. Rahul is third person. Rahul will. Then we add be. Be first form. Going. Go first form plus ing. Going to the market. Okay, Assertive. Let us take second form. Subject plus will. Shell plus not. Let us see. Rahul will not be going to the market. Okay. Let us see third one. Interrogative shall will plus subject shall will. Let us take uh, will. Will. Let us take subject Rahul plus B. B plus first form go plus ing going to the market question mark will rahul be going to the market you put your question mark next one let's take this shall will plus subject plus not negative sentence will first one will subject rahul then not then be then first form go then ing ing going to the market we have a question mark will rahul not be going to the market okay now these are your examples rahul will be going to the market first form rahul will not be going to the market second formation will rahul be going to the market interrogative third form formation and will rahul not be going to the market this is this fourth formation any doubts you can ask me okay uses uses of the future continuous tense first uses to express an action which will occur in normal course normal course means in the in the future to express an action that will occur in normal course or in the future like this example i will be seeing her tomorrow i will be seeing her tomorrow you see subject plus will or shall plus b plus c first form plus ing now here i have used will will can be used usually we use shall but will shows intention determination that is why i have used will so when i use i will i can also use here i shall that also will be correct but i am using i will meet your determination i will meet her will be seeing her tomorrow Okay, that is the first use. Second use is to express an action that will be in progress at a given time in future. Will be in progress means will be continuing, continuing in the future. We shall be having a party next week. We shall be having a party next week. Having, having, first form is have, remove ing, it becomes h, remove e, it becomes having a party next week. To express an action that will be continuing at a given time in future. Next number 3. In the negative, if it is a negative sentence, it expresses an action that will not take place in the normal course. Similar, same thing, simple. If it is negative, and it expresses an action that will not take place in the normal course. Normal course here means in the future. It will not take place example she will not be coming tonight because she is going out this is your example she will not be coming tonight because she is going out this is your negative sentence because of not be okay next one number four in the interrogative case interrogative remember question question it expresses an action which is a polite question it's a polite question you're asking a question in a very polite way and it is not a request or invitation be careful it is not a request or an invitation it is just a polite question example will you be going to the market today 
question mark. Will you be going to the market today? Will shows in the future. After some time, maybe you will go to the market. So, will you be going to the market today? You are asking a question. This is the interrogative. Here, she will not be coming tonight. This is the negative. This one, express an action that will be in progress, shall be having, will be in progress in the future. And this one, to express an action which will occur in normal course, I will be seeing her tomorrow. Normal course, normal in the future. Okay, I hope it is clear. Uh, this is your homework. Very, very simple homework. Homework page 33. BT. BT means what? Brain twister. Task B. Task A I gave you last class. Task A is done. I hope you have finished your homework. Today we will do only task B. You will do this. Keep it ready in your books. Do it with a pencil. Okay. So this is your homework for today. Very, very little homework I am giving you. Okay. This is your homework for today. Don't submit unless I ask you. So, if you have any doubts, you can always WhatsApp me. Okay. Bye. Take care.